Uh, obviously, it helps. Um, it's nice to see those first ones go. Builds the confidence. But honestly, you know, my teammates, coaches, everyone's in my corner to just be aggressive. Um, after game one, that's basically what they were telling me all the time. Just shoot it every time you touch it. So I uh, just try to go out there and do my job. We had Bam uh, Adebayo on the other night, and he talked about about how much you guys like each other. Because I asked him, how much does that play into how well you play together? And I just wonder how you would frame it. He talked about anybody could eat breakfast or lunch together. People enjoy each other's company. And, and what's your sense, Duncan, of your group collectively? Uh, we're, we're incredibly close-knit. Um, Bam really said it. I mean, there's no better way to describe it than just we enjoy being around each other. And that's off the court, on the court. Um, but that's huge on the court because, you know, there's just this trust between each other. And, you know, when you do something, your teammate has your back. Um, and it just goes a long way on, on both ends of the floor. Yeah, but winning's fun, too. And you guys are doing a ton of that. And one kind of leads to the other. Jimmy made some plays, and Tim Legler was just describing, Duncan, I don't know if you had your headset on or not, just about how he can go for long stretches without hunting his shot, without needing his shot, doesn't care about his shot. And you look at the type of winning plays he makes defensively, I just wonder, what's the best way to explain what Jimmy Butler provides to the Miami Heat? Uh, he, he does everything for us. Um... It's pretty unique that you see a superstar who, who really doesn't care about shots. And he'll, like you said, he'll go long stretches without shooting um, if that's what's best for our team. So it's, he's been incredibly selfless um, all year. And I know everyone's now just seeing it um, maybe on this stage, but uh, he's, he's really been huge for us. And it's just a, a luxury to play with a, a guy like that who does so much that doesn't show up in the box score just to help a team win. And it's, I, I, I'd be remiss if I didn't talk about what Goran Dragic does. Here's another guy, another vet who's been around, had chances with different teams, and now is really putting his fingerprints on some big-time moments. And just what is it, what is his, uh, in the mix of what you all are, he feels significant in ways that maybe people don't necessarily appreciate. Do you sense that? Absolutely. Um, everybody in our camp knows it. Uh, sure. They come winning time, he'll make a big play. He just does it in the most unorthodox ways, but it's just he gets it done. Um, he's been doing it for a long time. You know, we say all the time, Gogi's a champion. He, he won a European championship, so he knows what it takes. Um, and come winning time, a lot of us turn to him. I just want to close with this. I've thought a lot about this in the last couple of days. As this, get, as this goes on, winning's great, but, like, you all have been there a long time. It's 10 o'clock in the bubble. You're done with your job. Like, what do you do? now what, what what happens next uh a group of us ordered some food uh from from one of the spots nearby not in the bubble so that's always a nice treat so we'll uh go pick that up uh just hang kick it eat and just <laughs> enjoy this win uh, and then tomorrow it, it turns into prepping for game three so uh it, at this time it's it's really just all about locking in on the task at hand and the Celtics are a really good team so we're gonna need to be prepared for game three